Extreme weathers can cause all kinds of chaos across our planet, from destruction of settlements to the loss of human lives. Suffice to say, they suck. Let's get a better understanding of these weathers, the effects they have, and of course, figure out where their names come from. My name is Patrick, and this is 5 Extreme Weather Names Explained. Let's kick things off with blizzards. These are when it snows heavily, usually accompanied by strong winds too. Blizzards can do things like knock down trees and power lines. The effects of a blizzard could even result in the closure of certain buildings. If you're lucky enough, you might get a snow day out of it, you don't have to go to school. Like, that's, that's the best thing I guess about a blizzard, gosh. I miss snow days, like now that I work from home all the time, snow days don't really exist for me. But anyway, despite how well known blizzards are, we don't actually seem to be too sure as to where the word comes from. It might relate to blaze, which is odd considering blazes means fire. Perhaps it's a weird opposite word or something, as blizzards are the complete opposite of a huge fiery blaze. Another theory is that it's simply onomatopoeic, which I can kind of see, I guess, blizzard, brr, like, brr, I, could, I could see that happening. Um, early uses of the word blizzard slash just blizz have it meaning things like a violent blow slash rainstorm, and even a huge amount of gunfire. I can see why raging bullets could could remind people of a blizzard. Next up, we have a hurricane. These are huge spirals of wind and awful weather that form over oceans to make landfall. They can destroy so much in their paths, with little in the way to stop them other than waiting for them to blow over. We've actually covered hurricanes before in a previous video all about them, but it's such an interesting etymology, why not cover it again? Hurricanes are named after a Carib god, with the Caribs being the native inhabitants of various Caribbean islands. And yes, the Caribbean is named after them. They had a god named Holikan, who has been described as their god of bad winds slash all things evil. It's easy to see why storms that cause such destruction would be named after this tyrannical god. And if you are wondering, hurricanes, typhoons and cyclones are all the same thing. They just have different names in different parts of the world. Now before we continue, I want to say a huge thank you to my most recent Super Thanks leavers. So a huge thank you to one at Simon Treble 87 Super Thanks are a great way to make a one-time donation to help support Name Explain, and can be left directly in the comments section of any of my YouTube videos. However, Patreon is the best way to financially support Name Explain, and donating just $1 a month gets you ad-free videos, a chance to say what names are explained, an exclusive monthly newsletter, and your name at the end of these videos. All of that can be found at patreon.com forward slash name explain, which will be linked down below. All that helps out tremendously. Thank you. Anyway, carrying on, we have droughts. Droughts are long periods of time with little to no rainfall, usually accompanied by extreme heat. But it doesn't have to be hot to cause a drought, just a lack of rainfall will do it. Droughts can create issues with the growth of food, which has a knock-on effect on literally everyone. The word drought unsurprisingly has links with the word dry, as things get pretty dry when there is a drought. The word seems to ultimately come from the word dry, with the old Germanic word forming suffix of th added to the end of it. This suffix was used to change a word's class. In this case, it would make the adjective of dry into the noun of dreif? Dreif? I'm not sure if dreif was ever an actual word. Maybe drought is a corruption of this hypothetical dreif, or maybe it was made directly into the word drought. Whatever the case, drought is definitely linked with dry, that's for sure. Carrying on, let's look at torrential rain. This is when it rains like there's no tomorrow, and can even cause severe flooding. Rain is just one of those old archaic words of unknown origins. The word I'm more interested in here is torrential. Torrential is simply the adjective form of the word torrent, so we really need to look into torrent for this one. Torrent is an interesting word. While now most linked with water, initially it was used to refer to anything happening in an overwhelming amount. We still use it with things other than water today with phrases like a torrent of support or something like that. Torrent was originally an adjective unto itself too and meant things like roaring, burning or parching, seemingly coming from the ancient Proto-Indo-European word of turles meaning dry. Yep. This is another case, like blizzard, of a word we now link more with wet and cold things coming from hotter origins. Finally, let's look at thunder. 
Thunder is simply the sound caused by lightning. So unto itself, it isn't actually that dangerous. What is dangerous is that aforementioned lightning, as well as the strong winds and rains that usually follow them. While not dangerous, the sound of thunder is pretty scary. Or maybe I'm just scared of it, like a, like a big child, who knows, I don't know. Thunder freaks me out, man, like, I don't know, some people really like it, but I find it a little, a little uneasy, but maybe that's just me being a little worry war, who knows. We don't seem to be entirely sure as to where the name of thunder comes from, but it seems to be linked with the name of Thor, the Norse god of thunder and lightning. But I also read that he is named after thunder, giving us a bit of a etymological paradox, like thunder is named after Thor, Thor is named after thunder, like a weird, just a weird paradox of sorts. But we, we come across those quite often in etymology, it seems. But whatever the case, this weather and this god seem to be pretty darn linked to one another. And that's five extreme weather names explained. Let me know about any other interesting weather names I might have missed out on down below. Also, please suggest some subject areas down below which we could cover in next Monday's Five Names Explained video. It could be about literally anything and the subject area can be as niche or broad as you like. I will then choose three of those subject areas and place them in a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. Then the winner from that poll will be the subject area covered in the next Five Names Explained video. You can vote in that poll as well as enjoy many other great benefits by visiting patreon.com forward slash name explain, which will be linked down below, and by donating just $1 a month. Thank you. Anyway, that's more than enough for myself. But don't forget to go follow me on Instagram, where I'm Name Explain YT. And don't forget to go join the Facebook group, Friends of Name Explain, where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds. Okay, all, take care. How are we looking? Lighting okay? Let's move that back a little bit. Oh, gunstorm. Gunstorm? That's not right, let's start again. Am I gonna sneeze? No, cool. With little weight, with little in the way, blah. I feel like I always do this. That's how I begin everything. Let's 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 not do that. Cool, 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 cool. Itchy knee. Give that a scratch. The word. Is, I did it again, Amber. From the word dry, with the old dram, dry manic. I said dry too many times. Word forming. So worm forming. No, that's all right. This suffix was used to create a word to change a word. Carrying on. Yeah, I did it, Amber. I'm just, Every time I do it now, I'm just gonna uh, be aware of it. Uh, giving us a bit of like a etymological pa 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 pa. I don't know well. Dot com forward slash name explain, which will be linked down below. But no, got so far and messed up on the word below. Done. Done. Weather. Done. I think it's gonna be quite nice this weekend, Amber. Happy days, because August was crap.